the birds are back in town. Millions of geese, sandpipers and ducks all flying back north this spring. And a deadly form of avian flu is along for the ride. I'm definitely more concerned now than I was 10 years ago. This scientist says migratory birds are at a high risk for catching the virus that has exploded globally, giving it even more opportunities to evolve. What gets uh, brought back with spring migration could be different again, and we don't know. Those migration routes span North America from coast to coast, allowing avian flu to spread from birds to all kinds of other species, including sea lions, foxes, mink, and occasionally humans. One Canadian study found the virus circulating in the current outbreak has mutations that may favor adaptation to mammals. If your average person and your average pet owner, the risk to them and their animal is quite low. Now that said, it's not zero. Just this week, federal officials announced a dog that died in Ontario tested positive for the virus. Veterinarian Scott Weiss says people shouldn't panic about their pets, but he does suggest avoiding interactions with wildlife in the months ahead. If there are 100 geese out in a park, maybe don't let your dog go up and get close to them because the geese will bark back. Members of the public can also report any sightings of dead or dying birds to Canada's Environment and Climate Change Department. And that will actually help us predict where we need to be paying attention uh, throughout the summer uh, and the spring as we kind of ramp up to respond to what we're seeing on the ground. The hope is that by now a growing number of birds may have built up immunity to the virus. But with so many travelling all at once, scientists are bracing for a challenging stretch ahead. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Toronto.